walking around, shuffling me feet. <laughs> Hang on, I need the lyrics, I can't bloody see. I'll start again, then it'll give you crap. I feel like a pigeon in weeds Walking round the shovel in my feet Pecking at breadcrumbs on the floor Tastes like Greg's Think I want some more A bit of a dance break for ya Anyway, I was telling you I was in the Gainsborough town centre and stuff and, uh, and I had one of those breadcrumbs, next thing I knew it went black and uh, I ended up in, in Turkey for some reason and it, it sort of felt like this City. Is anyone from Lincoln? One person. We're in Lincoln. I'm the one person. We're in Lincoln. Where's everyone from? In any any good any good places? Give me a random place. Where are you from? Lancashire. Lancashire. Who's from Lancashire? Poor, poor, poor. Poor, poor person. I feel so. What part of Lancashire? Billinge. Near Wigan. Billinge? Near Wigan? Sounds almost phallic. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Billinge. Any other good places? Bury. Bury. From Lancashire. Lancashire. Bury. I tell you, I love Bury. Bury Market. Bury Market. Wow. Where are you from? Where are you from, where are you from eh? All I can hear is you. I don't know. You don't know where you're from? I don't know. That makes two of us. Wait, no, I'm from Lincoln. You're from Lincoln? Why didn't you say yes when I said who's from Lincoln? I said yes. Oh, I didn't hear you. I heard you all night. You, you don't have any ears. You don't have any ears. Oh dear, dear, dear. Berry though. Lovely oh. place. Lovely. Look. Lo <laughs> well. You're knocking me off me kilty, Jemima. Hey there, Kung Fu fighter. Can you show me how you do? I love your kicks. I love your moves Woo! I want to be just like you I've seen the stars, I've seen them all From Van Damme to Lee to Steven Oh 
I've had enough now. I won't be bullied. Even if you change lanes too quickly, push your elbows in my side, shove me forward. Quail size problems pale in comparison to my ostrich and orchid solutions. Heads out of the sand demand sunlight. I am rewriting the old song where it's Lucille who leaves him with four hungry children and a crop in the field. Likelier, he took off with Jolene, tumbleweeding through Tennessee, singing karaoke. Makes me mad, like a Mississippi goddamn. In America, every four-way stop is a face-off. I am an astronaut daughter, groomed into service, launched into orbit, inheriting a mystery castle, rebuilding underway, the basement replumbed, the carpet stripped back until good bones can once again be seen. Try as I might to make this place beautiful like a loyal captain, I've gone down with the ship, served myself last as a means of salvation, living and dying by the tree pose code of honor, I sway. Recoiling from my instinct to give until there is nothing left, pour from an empty cup, a surefire death rattle. The snake under your pillow jumps to bite you in your sleep and hiss. You've been doing it all right or all wrong for a lifetime. I am rewriting the song, the mess of win-lose by default. Painting victims hard done by instead of conspirators, co-conspirators <laughs> in our own liberations, bank robbing our freedom, survivors on the brow of the mountain, tunneling for aquifers below the surface, my zest for life, an underground river, typhoid Mary to the home time drone of home time traffic, I am a field of wild horses, bucking and stamping and evading capture. Slow down. Stop. Look. Sit in silence, alone with yourself. Find you are made of life's desert masonry. From wireframes born with the ability to rewrite that old refrain. is the message that Weird Garden needs now? Big one. Okay. Thank you so much. Whew. All right, we have, we have the five of states. Does anyone here read tarot? Folks in the house, right? So there's this. I, I could say anything I wanted, <laughs> um, but I, I want to do something that that you know um, that checks out. So I'll tell you a little bit about the staves suit. The suit of staves is one of the four suits in the deck of tarot, um, and it is about growth. Right? Staves are the, the <laughs> shoots that spring up from the earth, um, and it, it is the associated with the element of earth. Each one of the suits in the tarot deck is associated with one element. I won't go too deep into it. But in this picture, and I'll leave it up here so you can come and take a look at it in a bit if you want to, um, we have a lot of people working, uh, perhaps, uh, <sighs> sometimes the tarot can be um, quite, quite, uh, Intense. So I'm feeling some intense emotions right now. Um, we don't know exactly what they're doing, but it depends on your perception of what their activity is. But it looks like 
they could be involved in some kind of a struggle. Um, and I think that the message here is to acknowledge struggle, to notice it, and to see what it has to teach us. And to know that on the other side of struggle is growth. Give a shout out to my partner, Thomas Juggernaut Vivian, um, for making these lovely visuals. Here you see a little bit of Arizona, which is where um, my dad lived before he passed away. This is my dad. Um, I think my mom took that picture, probably. Um, and uh, he passed away last year, and as you can see, a lot of this uh, set is inspired by him. Uh, these next three poems are uh, shorties for me. Um, they're called In the Middle of the Longest Winter. Grief quotient, and my dad taught me how. So when you hear those lines, you'll know that the next poem has started. In the middle of the longest winter, my mother forgets my father's face. The smiling image on, on my wall reflects little of the man she married, neck sagging below his chin, widened generously in the belly, skin thin and pale with small red spots. They seem a bit dangerous, but not quite yet. Maybe blood blisters, not leukemia, not yet. On the decaying forest floor of her garage, next to his picture in a scrapbook, her teenage self pasted the word discovery from a magazine. In this alternate timeline, their divorce never was a coal mine of dead canaries, a broken dam, a waterlogged leaf pile, or a barricaded door. The river didn't flood and the gunman wasn't in the next room. It's now spring and every living thing struggles at the confines of being in a body. She's erased him from her memory, while I would give everything back to hear him sing again. Grief Caution. Fingers tap at the walls of the enclosure, harboring a stomach of gossamer, not steel. Nihilism leaps off crags into cold water while endurance sweats melon liqueur by the side of a pool, comatose as compost. I sat in the hospital at my father's side while he survived cancer. One month later, I alone tell the tale. My gaze so averted, the horizon now my rival as I dance on the floor of this glass-bottomed boat. I've decided life deserves more than murderous, reanimated monster fleeing into the Arctic. Self-denial is a picnic on a rooftop with no ladder, while desire is a compass back to myself. Who wants a treasure hunt and a collection of old noises? I'd rather plant myself in containers. I can outgrow. My dad taught me how to. Mistreat your wife and divorce twice. Order the best dim sum dishes in Cantonese. Win a goldfish at the fair and teach it tricks. Shoot a 38 special and flick a balisong knife. Cook egg noodles and oyster sauce and eat canned dace with rice and kyutao. Hold a Chinese teacup by the rim so it doesn't burn your fingers. Separate the darks and the lights. Keep trying till you get it right. Sing karaoke and relish the spotlight. Make tuna salad sandwiches with relish and red onion. Learn a little about a lot to seem worldwise. Be generous with friends and strangers. Save for retirement. Watch interests compound. Rest and watch TV. Ride a bike. Take time for yourself at night. Take racism in stride. Talk to your child when you're breaking down inside. Please the ancestors. Light incense before pictures. Bow thrice and place sticks in a bowl of rice. Visit the graveside, pick up the phone and call. Ask for what you need. Don't back down until you get it. Go where you want. Cherish your life. Do what you like to hell with the consequences. Woo! If I didn't say thank you for picking the card, I want to thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm on 
want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> this last one is called Ocean City. It's about my favorite restaurant when I was y'all's age. Save your best for those who know what it's worth, urge this favorite haunt of my father's, a restaurant with two sides. To the right, a banqueting hall furnished in Burgundy for White Seattle's Chinatown ventures, chopsticks, round tables under glass, lazy Susans, confounding guests who didn't eat family style, at least I imagine, since that wasn't our entrance. Up the small stoop, we turned left to a hole in the wall, picture windows and rickety chairs, open daily till 3 a.m., eat in or take out my night owl habits in vitro. We'd roll up past midnight with one, sometimes two of my uncles off shift or an overseas relative fresh from the airport. Greet Peter, the waiter, crisp white shirt and black vest, pompadour grease, smartly back, pen and pad in breast pocket. At child's eye level, I inhaled the counter where ama, wiry gray perm in chef's whites, chopped roast duck, heavy-handed cleaving through bone. I'd want now nam tong min, beef brisket, egg noodle soup, the first Chinese dish I learned how to say. The men ate duck and rice, sweet plum sauce, drank tea. Anytime we arrived, there was enough. Once grown, I left town, and since memories frail as time is fast, forgot the name of the place. I scoured the web and tried asking dad, but he confused it with the next spot our family frequented. Now that is gone, the uncles too. The city I'm from doesn't seem like itself. I can't ask him for more of what I've forgotten. But each bowl of broth is an ocean cross back to rickety seats, open till three, the best save for those who know what it's worth. Dy.org. <laughs> Massive thank you to El Dia! <laughs> Woo!